If someone just stole your cell phone, <laughs> your attitude probably wouldn't be like Raleigh Bingham's. I can't help but like really make light of the situation because it's just kind of funny. She's laughing about how this whole situation <laughs> is playing out. It all started on Friday when a strange girl got strangely close to her at a bar. She leaned in to say something in my ear and it's like things were loud and I felt a tug on my purse. Before she knew it, her phone was gone and so was the girl. She had come to terms with the fact that she'd probably never see it again until she got on Facebook on Monday. It was actually became a lot more plausible for me to get it back when she starts posting selfies. Not just one or two. There were just a, a lot of selfies of her around downtown Denver. She had, she had a great Sunday. <laughs> you see, Bingham's phone is set to automatically send new photos to Facebook. So far, the thief has posted about 30. So I know that she, worked, she works at McDonald's because I saw her hat on one of the selfies doing my own detective work here. The girl who identified herself as Lil Mama appears to be posing as Bingham too. She told my best friend she would get her from the airport. <laughs> she didn't. Bingham did go to Denver police and officers have offered a $2,000 reward for information leading to this girl. $2,000. I was like, you get so many iPhones with that. <laughs> Bingham says she doesn't want to press charges. At the end of the day, all she can do is laugh. Is it worth it? <laughs> it's a phone. It's not, you know, the lottery. It's not getting... All it's getting you is a couple of selfies and, you know, a lot of attention.